Okay, uh, so at this point, you should have seen and mastered three different types of expressions. The first one, so for example, negative 5y plus 9y plus 6, just combining like terms. We should know this. We should know the negative 5y can combine with the positive 9y to give us positive 4y and then plus 6. We should be good with that. We should also be good with just a basic distribution problem, okay? So 4 and in parentheses 2f minus 2. We should know to distribute this 4. Whatever's on the outside is distributed to whatever's on the inside. So the 4 distributes to 2f. 4 times 2f is 8f. 4 times negative 2, a positive 4, times a negative 2 is a negative 8. We're done. We should also have mastered a distribution problem where you have to combine a like term at the end. So here's an example. The negative two, remember you take that sign in front every time. So in this case, we have a negative two being distributed to a two C and a negative one. So negative two times positive two C is a negative four C. A negative 2 times a negative 1, a negative times a negative makes it a positive 2. I can now bring down the 7. I did not distribute the 7. It is not outside the parentheses. I simply bring it down. So now I have 7 minus 4c plus 2. I can combine the 7 and the 2 because neither of them have a variable. So 7 plus 2 is a positive 9. And I can bring down my minus 4c. Remember, this is the same thing as 9 minus 4c. The order doesn't matter as long as the signs, the positive and negatives, are in the correct place. They both mean the same thing. Okay, we should be good with this. I'm going to go a step further with you now. And we're going to look at an example that is 2 in parentheses x minus 4 plus 6 in parentheses x plus Two. Okay, so now here's an example, 2 in parentheses x minus 4 plus 6 in parentheses x plus 2. So in this case, I have two distributions happening. We've mastered one distribution, so now we're going to add another one. I'm going to focus on this part of the expression first, so we're not going to worry about that. If you want to draw a line here in between the two distributions, you can. So for now, I'm going to focus on this first set of parentheses. Outside of this parentheses, I have my 2. I have to distribute that 2 to the inside. 2 to the x. 2 times x is 2x. I distribute it to my negative 4. 2 times negative 4 is a negative 8. Remember, a positive times a negative is a negative. I'm done with this. I've distributed, and I got 2x minus 8. Moving over here, I'm going to distribute again. I have a positive 6 being distributed to an x and a 2. 6 times x is a positive 6x. Six, 6 positive 6 times a positive 2 Positive 6 times positive 2, 6 times 2, I'm going to have a positive 12. I now have 2x minus 8 plus 6x plus 12. I've done the hard part. Now all I have to do is combine the things that are alike. I'm finding the friends. We've done this. 
I have a 2x. And I have a plus 6x. Two x's plus six more x's is eight x's. I also have a negative eight plus 12. I have a negative eight plus 12. Negative eight plus 12 is a positive four. If you are not sure how I got this positive 4, you would look at your number line. Here's my 0. I know I am at, I start at negative 8. I'm adding 12. If I'm adding, I move to the right. So I start at negative 8. I would move to the right 12 places. You start at negative 8 and you add 12, you will end up at positive 4. Therefore, my final answer is 8x plus 4. Done.